Well, that's a uh, major uh, acknowledgement on their part, Tim Russert, uh, that they're not going to win it tonight, uh, that it's going to have to go to the automatic recall, that Jeb Bush couldn't come up with the votes that was going to get him over the top without an automatic recall. Uh, the Gore people are obviously hanging in at this point. Uh, you heard, however, the, uh, the Attorney General, who is a Democrat and thinks that Gore will prevail, he has confidence in the automatic recall. But he said at least one recount. Did you hear that sentence? In other words, he reserved the right to go to court. I do not think that this presidential election will be determined by some judge in Florida. That's just not going to wash. When we get into the litigation on this thing, it's going to get very, very dicey very so, fast. So, Jonathan, let me just uh, take you through this. If you think at the end of the recall that, um, that Governor George W. Bush is ahead by 1,500 votes. The Democrats go right into court. And? And they'll try to get another recount, and the, they'll start canvassing by, by precinct and county, and they'll challenge the whole recount process, and pretty soon you're into litigation land, and the American people will be saying, hey, wait a minute, Al Gore won this election. What is all this about? All right, well, uh, he's building a foundation in the popular vote, Jonathan, for your theory, which I still don't buy into, by the way, but we'll see what happens.